O Messenger of Allah, proclaim the message huh? which has been sent down to you from your Lord. And if you don't, then you have not conveyed his message. Allah protect you from mankind. And then we find that Muhammad was under black magic. Muhammad was killed by poison. So where is the protection from, black, from, from mankind? And actually, by the way, when it says mankind here, it says a nas. A nas means all people, not because somebody might say to you, oh, the women, it was a woman who killed him. The Quran promised him to be, not to be killed by men. The Arabic is a nas. Nas means everybody, all the people, the people. So this is a religion can stand up, have a feet, as long as you are an ignorant. The second you speak to someone like me, you will find that this is not only it has holes in the narrative, this is a basket which is impossible to put water in it because all of it is holes. Bamboo basket. The holes are so big. And the funny is, the second you show them a proof from their books, they say, this is what they are saying. That's not my problem. I don't agree with them. Who are you? If you are a person don't agree with Aisha, what do you call me? Go make a video, laugh at Aisha, then be a man. Expose Aisha. I don't want you to agree with me. Agree with your own religion. But they are ashamed of their religion. So he call you. Can you tell me about the Trinity? I have a question about the Trinity. This is what you are worried about, Trinity. You have a God who will give you endless penis. Your wife, she will be one mile ass. And, and women, they will be see-through, which is disgusting. A white supremacist cult obsessed with the white color. What kind of religion will promise me women who I can see through their bones? Do you think I'm a dog and I get excited by bones? Why a man will be excited by seeing women bones? Not only the bones, you will see the marrow of the bones. Is that God? But this God, he is speaking to Arab desert people who like to see white women. Why? Because women in the Arabia, they are not, 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 not dark skin. But because they are so exposed to much the sun, only the spoiled one, she stay home. She is really white. The second you go out of the tent and you start working with the goats and the animals, which majority they do that, then you will get darker skin. So the white one present, the one she is, is spoiled. Obsession with the white skin. And because he knew that his people are obsessed with white women, he gave them an exaggeration promises. Your woman, she will be so white to the point you can see three through her bones. And imagine this, just imagine, just for a second imagine. You are now in the heaven of Allah, and this is the versions which Allah, he promised you. Now let us be honest, isn't it, this is super zagzi? You see, for us, Allah, he understand our situation as men. Your wife, she eat your hamburger. You ask her, did you eat it? She say, not me. It's already in the bill. You can't see it. She take your credit card. She hide it in her bra. Do you see? Did you see my credit card? She said, not me. All days is over. Now we can see everything. Allah, he decided to take the side of us and save us from the women conspiracy. So now your wife, she cannot hide anything in her panty or her backpack or her bra or take money from your pocket or your wallet. And she said, I did not see them. All this is over. Hey, women. Hello. This is what God Allah will give me in heaven. 
A woman I can see through their bones. She is sexy and you know it. And imagine those women, they are doing some special dance for you. And positions. Aren't you going to believe now that Allah must be God? Who is going to promise such a promises unless he is God? Let us be honest. Huh? For how long you Christians, Hindus, Buddhas, atheists, you can run away from the truth? She looked like a jellyfish for me. And this is a promise of God. By the way, just disclaimer, I'm not showing anyone pictures, those are my wives, okay? Because I know some people will say, oh, he's showing pictures of women, etc. No, those are, I have many wives, as you know. Prophet, I am prophet. I, my, and you see, the name is the Arabian prophet. I get the title because of what? Too many women. The first thing a woman she do, she enter my house, I have a scanner. I put her in the in a scanner, you know, you know, we take a scan, and then I dream about my heaven in the future. You know, I cannot see that now, but I can see it in the machine. So I just I have the pictures all around my room. I look in the top of my head. I don't see a lemon tree. I see X-ray women picture. I love those pictures. Especially when you see the poopoo inside. And now we know who ate the hamburger. They cannot lie to us no more, my friend. Those women, their days is over. Look at the poopoo. Enough is enough with those women. A God who do not know where the sperm is coming from. Which one he created first, the mountains or the stars? That there's a God who will give you a woman like X-ray? There's a God who promised you that your private part will never go limp? What if it go limp? Are you in trouble? Cult. It's so easy to expose or to expose. The problem is, many do not know how to argue with those Abdus and corner them. As you see, they are professionals in changing topic, in the speed of light. They are professionals in escaping a question by saying, I do not know. I do not accept this color. Ah, you are showing me a hadith. Oh, hadith is weak. Oh, but hadith to say sahih. I don't care. They are a professional in running. You cannot do that with me. Here we got you busted with no mercy. If there is any Muslim, well, as long as there's no Muslims, I hang up on this guy. Uh, Let us call him again. One last, one last try. Yes, my friend, did you watch what we said? My friend, as you see, you Muslims do not even know your God for us, so why you are you debating me about? Yeah, no, that's fine, not, not fine, no, no, no. No, no, not no, my friend, not fine with me. You see, here I am here to show Muslims that Islam is a stupid. So you are trying to change my topic to talk about something. No, man, it's not up to you, my friend. It's not up to you. You are trying. You are trying. Okay, let me ask you: Is the Trinity wrong? Why? Okay, just look what you just said. You said, Allah, he said, if you want to have a son, he said, you are yourself, you said, it's possible if you want to have son, it's up to him, he's almighty, correct? No, 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 listen, 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 listen. You said to me, it's possible if you wanted to have son, right? So in case of my God, it's impossible. In case of your God, it's possible. 
Well, Jesus, he, he, Jesus, he is praying to the Father, and the Father is glorifying Jesus. My friend, we have the Trinity. This is what Trinity is about. That God, the Son, listen, 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 listen. I give you a chance. I give you a chance to ask you the question, right? So listen.